It is that time once again for the annual Anditology Picks for March Madness. And this year for something different, we're going to add the ladies. Yes, yeah, so the ladies get their appreciation just like the men's. So without further ado, I'm going to go to the ladies first. And then we'll move on to the men's side of things. So I'll title each one as we go along and I'll have it time stamped. Okay. So first up, I think I'm going to go with the obvious here in this side of the bracket. I will go with South Carolina. And I'm going to pick Marquette. Eight nines are pretty hard to pick. Go with UCLA, Oklahoma, Creighton, North Dakota, Arizona, Maryland. On this side of the bracket on the left. South Carolina will move on. And I think they will play ladies UCLA right here. Notre Dame has had a good team on the women's side this year. They will end up playing Maryland. I think it will come down to Maryland playing South Carolina. South Carolina will move on and will go to the Final Four in Dallas. Now we move on to the upper right side of the bracket. I'm going to go with Indiana. I will take Oklahoma State. I will go with Wazoo. Villanova, Michigan, LSU, and I'm going to pick an upset here. I think the number 10 seed Princeton will upset North Carolina State here, then Utah. And I think this is where things will get interesting. I think it will be Princeton playing LSU, but the ride for Princeton ladies will end. LSU will move on to the Elite Eight. Then you got... Indiana, Indiana will play LSU, we go to Indiana right here. So here are my first two that will be in the women's side, South Carolina and then Indiana. Now we move to the upper right side of the bracket, we're going to move right down here. So I'm going to take Virginia Tech. They've had a pretty good year so far. I will take USC, Iowa State, Tennessee. I'm going to go with an upset here. And I think it will be St. John's Women's that move on here. And I think they're going to make a run. But here's the catch for... The ladies of St. John's right here. This is where things get interesting. They're going to lose to UConn Huskies. You got to remember, even though UConn is a two seed this year, UConn has always been dominant. Okay? UConn has always had a good women's program. Then they move on here. Then we're going to go with Iowa, well, I had Tennessee right here. I'm not going to go against Tennessee. So I'm going to keep Tennessee here. And figuring out the bracket, right, it would be Tennessee here. And who would Tennessee beat, you may be wondering. Virginia Tech. This is going to be a pretty lopsided part of the bracket. So I'm going to go with Clear Cut Crazy. UConn will play in the women's final four. Right? And I'm going to make a crazy prediction that we're going to have UConn playing South Carolina. But who will South Carolina play? You may be wondering. This is the road for South Carolina. Stanford moves on. I think Gonzaga Women's moves on. Sanford should make it. 
Louisville Woman's. Okay, this is where I think it'll end up. So let's go Colorado, Duke, Duke here. And just figuring out the bracketology here. So we'll put Iowa here. Yes, so that's where I think it will end up. Iowa does play Stanford. And that's what leads up to your final four right here. Okay. So now we're going to move on to our championship game. And I think, even though I'm going to be crazy for saying this, but I think it will be UConn winning it all. Okay. And I will go with a final score of 67 to 66 with a buzzer beater in Dallas. So there you have it. I mean, there is my bracket. And I'm going to have UConn going all the way in the women's. All right. Now to go to the more trickier men's side of things. And we're going to start off with the south part of the bracket. I'm going to go with Alabama, and I will have them playing Maryland. The ride for Maryland will end at the second round. Bama easily wins. I'm going to go with an upset here, and I will take the 12 seed to beat San Diego State. Because I see some weakness in San Diego State. Don't ask why, but I could see it happening. Virginia should move on, and they will play Alabama. I will go with Creighton. I will go with the defending champs, Baylor, moving on. Baylor will be here, okay? So, let's put Alabama taking on Baylor. I will take Missouri here, and I will go with another upset. I think Princeton in the Ivy League will move on, but the Magic Carpet ride will end. Bama does make it to the Final Four in the south side of the bracket. Midwest side of the bracket, I will easily take Houston. I'm going to take Auburn. I think Auburn has a really good chance in that 8-9 matchup. Miami Hurricanes and the ACC should win. Indiana, as a four seed, should move on. I will take Iowa State. I don't see anything out of that 11 matchup. I just don't see it. Xavier, right here, three seed. I will go with Texas A&M. They've had a pretty good season. And this will lead to a pretty interesting matchup between Texas A&M and Texas Longhorns. Now, call me crazy here, but I'm going to go with a crazy theory on why I think the Texas Longhorns can make it to the Final Four. So, why am I going with Texas? I think they can beat the three seed, and then once you get over to here, okay, this is where things get interesting. I think Houston will beat the University of Indiana. All right. So this is where I think Texas will move on. I'm sorry, but I know everybody's focused on all these Texas universities this year, and that's fantastic. But I'm telling you right now, Baylor is not going to defend the title. Alabama has really built their college team this year. They've really worked their way up. They've built up for this moment. This is their year to make it to the Final Four at least. So South Midwest for me has been decided. So now what I got to do is go to the bottom part of the bracket. And we're going to go to the east side. Kansas easily wins here. I like Illinois' chances because Illinois has had a really good season in the Big Ten. I will go with VCU, another 12 upset. Now, 
this 4-13 matchup between UConn and Iona, I I've been thinking about it a lot this week. I've had about 48 hours to think this through. And I'm just going to be honest here. I think there is a good chance we're going to see a 12-13 matchup in the second round. But for Rick Pitino, Magic Carpet right ends here. And I easily got Kansas moving on to the Elite Eight. So, that's where I will go with it. The Bullfrogs of Texas Christian University should easily move on. And Gonzaga will be down here. Okay, so Gonzaga should face Kansas. Now, on this side here, I think I'll go with Boise State. And I'll go with UCLA. And I think Gonzaga does have a good chance to beat UCLA in the Sweet 16. I think that's going to be the game to watch in the Sweet 16. It could go either way in that 2-3 matchup. But I think Kansas does move on. And I do see them making a run to the Final Four. Okay? So let's recap where we are right now in this bracket. We got number one Alabama. Number two, Texas. And number one, Kansas. All right? Now, again, I think the Longhorns still have a shot here. So, what I'm going to do, as a safe bet, I'm going to have them in the championship game. So, let's come back to the Alabama matchup down here in the western side of the bracket. So, let's predict the west side here. Purdue moves on as the one seed. Now, this is going to be very interesting here. All right. Eight nine matchup. Again, they are always tricky to predict. I don't know how, I don't know why, but this is going to be very interesting. Okay. Florida Athletic taking on Memphis. I think I will take Florida Athletic. I don't know. It's just so hard to predict it. Purdue moves on here. Duke will take on Tennessee. And I think the Volunteers can make a run here. All right? I want to see an SEC matchup, okay? So I will do this. I will put Kansas State here, Michigan State here, and then I will do an upset. I think Marquette's going to lose. <laughs> Michigan State moves on. Be Kentucky. Kentucky will play Tennessee. So, I have Tennessee as a four seed moving on here. So, I'm going to take Alabama taking on Texas. So, we will definitely have an SEC matchup in the championship game on April 3rd. So, who is my pick to win? You may be wondering. I am going to take Alabama with a final score of 72 to 71. So there you have it. Those are my brackets for this year. Let me go back to the dashboard. So there you go. I mean, I'm very happy with my bracket. And you know what? Let's see what happens. Because obviously in the women's, I think UConn can redeem themselves. And in the men's, I just think Alabama has a pretty good chance this season. So, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, please take care.